How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be talking about implementing traits in Rust. So a trait is like a interface in other languages such as Java. It's basically in the name so a trait is like something that a object or a class or a struct can do. So it's just specified to show you how it works. So what we can do is um, define a new struct up here called person with two members, let's just say name as a string and age as a u8, okay? We can make this person or an instance of this person down here, we can say name, hold on, dom equals a person and the name of this person will be simply Dominic string from and the age will be 21, okay? So now what if I want to do this here? Yeah. I want to say print line and I want to say dom dot to string. How does that work? Like, can I do this? Let's, let's just try. And we get an error. We see there's no method named to string found for type person. So, how do we fix this? Like, what if I want this to say this? I want to print out my name is Dominic and my age is or I should say and I am. So I want that to appear on the screen when I do this. Now we can do this by implementing the two string trait that is found in the standard library. So below the struct we can do this. IMPL implement two string for person. Now the two string trait contains one method to string. We can then define it down here. We can say a new function called toString and this will take a parameter uh, just the self just like that and it will return a string so now we simply just need to return a string for this person or the person struct we can use the the format macro to format that string right there we can say my name is boom and I am boom. We can then pass in self.name and self.age. So now the to string trait has been implemented for the person struct. So now any any function or any any code that requires a person struct to be converted to a string is now possible. So now this right here works. So we can now test this and we see we get the desired result. My name is Dominic and I am 21. And that is how you implement traits in Rust. Thank you for watching. See you later.